Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. If you follow my content, you may or may not be aware of the fact that I am hosting a pretty decent sized birthday party for myself for my 29th birthday. It's gonna be here at my house and I'm trying to make it, you know, trying to make it nice, trying to make it better than the last party that I hosted. I'm always trying to outdo myself. What can I say? I'm a Virgo. So I invited a lot of people and I invited people from out of town, which means that I am going to be having guests sleeping over after the party. I always let people sleep over anytime that I have people coming over. If there's gonna be any type of drinking involved or just people driving from long distances. I kind of live out in the boondocks, so even people who live here in town, a lot of times it's like a 45 minute drive for them, let alone if they're driving in from out of town, let alone if they're flying in from out of town. So I always try and make it well known that you could sleep over, girl. You could sleep over after the festivities. So for this party in particular, so far, <laughs> there are at least 12 people who are going to be sleeping over after my birthday party. The birthday party is not a slumber party. It's a daytime poolside thing. But because, you know, people are coming from far away, I told them they could sleep over and I did tell 12 people that they could sleep over. So that's not even counting like the extra people who did not necessarily tell me that they're gonna sleep over, but who most likely are going to end up needing to sleep over, if you know what I mean. So 12 plus people staying over my house and I have one guest room which is the room that I'm standing in right now. Now this guest room is not too shabby you know I call it the home decor graveyard because it basically consists of any piece of furniture or decor piece that used to be in a different room but I don't need it for that room anymore so I just put it in this room so it's kind of like you know a home decor graveyard. I've never really taken the time to actually set up this room actually decorate it. I really do want to do that one of these days. I'm not gonna have time to do that before my party, so we're just gonna work with what we've got, try to zhuzh it up a little bit. But since I'm having 12 people sleep over, it ain't just gonna be this guest room, okay? We're gonna be utilizing Zaya's room, the playroom, my glam room, the living room, probably some areas just on the floor. Maybe the couch in my office, I don't know. So I basically need to make sure that my whole entire house is prepped for overnight guests. So this is the guest room for those of you who may not have really even ever seen it because I don't really show it that much. Queen size bed, you know, little nightstands on both sides. Like I said, this is the graveyard, so things are a little bit mismatched. One issue is that the TV is sitting on the floor because I did have it on like a little shelf, but I'm using that shelf now for something else. And maybe I'll be able to find a piece of furniture before the party for this because that's really ratchet, but just ignore that for now. But yeah, you know, we got a little lamp. We have some decorations. It's not too bad in here. And we got the full bedding and everything, extra blankets, extra pillows. And then there is a connected bathroom. So you have your little sink space. You know, this is all standard, like just builder grade stuff. I never got a chance to upgrade this bathroom either. So it's a little plain in here, but it's nice. You know, it does the job. And then there is a closet, but I use this for like all types of random storage. Main things starting in this room, obviously I wanna make sure that the bathroom is all set and stocked for guests and I don't really need to do too much to the room itself. But like I said, I'm definitely going to just make sure that the bathroom is nicely zhuzhed up and stocked. And then we have Zaya's bathroom, Zaya's bedroom. She's gonna be spending the night at Grammy's house, so she won't be here, so I'll be able to use her space for guests. I'm not even gonna show y'all what the playroom looks like right now. Just know it will be cleaned and cleared out. And okay, I'll show you. Quick look, quick, don't judge me. But it's gonna be cleared out. There's a couch in here and then there's plenty of floor space where I'm going to put an air mattress. So that'll be two sleeping spots in the playroom. So we have two people in the guest room, two people in Zaya's room, probably three people in the playroom. So that brings us to seven. Then let me show you. Downstairs, once again, don't judge the current mess. Zaya is living her best life, making weekend crafts. But of course it'll be all cleaned and cleared out. But we have this this couch, which like two people can sleep on. So that makes nine people. Then I'm debating on letting somebody sleep on my new couch in my office. But if you know, you know, this is a very special couch. So I don't know about that, but let's just say 10 people. And then I'm going to clear out floor space in here, put another air mattress in here that sleeps two people. So then that makes 12 people. So, I mean, that's a pretty comfortable setup for 12 people given the circumstances. And then there's the connected bathroom in here that'll also be good 
it because it's a whole nother shower and everything that the guests can use. So I definitely need to clean out, clear out this bathroom and just kind of reset it so that it's ready for guests because there's just so much junk in the way right now. But yeah, that's basically the plan for the main 12 people that I know are sleeping over. Anybody else who ends up sleeping over, they're gonna be on the floor and they're just gonna have to deal with it. But in preparation, I did a little shopping. So in preparation, I did some shopping. One thing about me, I try to be the hostess with the mostest as much as possible, especially when I'm planning, you know, a special event, birthday party, stuff like that. So I wanted to not only clean everything up, but provide some nice, you know, just make the guests feel very welcome. So I went to Target and I got a bunch of stuff and I'm gonna be making like little guest toiletry patties. Okay, so I got three of everything because there's three main bathrooms that are gonna be used by the guests, the guest room, Zai's bathroom, and the glam room bathroom. And I wanted to make three sets of like little caddies, almost like hotel style, where you have the little travel size essentials. So I got things like floss, toothbrushes, mouthwash, toothpaste, deodorant, body wash, razors, shaving cream, makeup remover wipes, and then even like band-aids and tampons and stuff like that. So the idea is to just put together little kits that I can sit in each bathroom. And I got this little set of like little cup tray things to use to put some of the smaller items in there. Maybe I'll add like flossers, Q-tips, Band-Aids. People always end up asking me for Band-Aids when they're at my house for whatever reason. <laughs> then we have mouthwash, deodorant, body wash, shaving cream, toothpaste, a razor, toothbrushes, makeup remover wipes, and I also got extra tampons, you know, you never know. So there we have a little toiletry kit that I can sit on the counter in each bathroom, just in case anybody needs something or forget something, they don't have to like come ask me. I can't tell you how many times that happens when people are at my house. Somebody always needs something like this. Okay, so here are my three little toiletry caddies put together. There's gonna be at least two people per bathroom, so I tried to make it like two people friendly, like I put a bunch of flossers and there's two toothbrushes per thing and stuff like that. There's not two of each thing, but you know what I mean? Not everybody is gonna need everything, so I feel like this is good. So I have one for the guest room, one for the glam room bathroom, and one to just set aside, and I will put it in Zaya's bathroom on the day of. Obviously, I don't need to put it in there, right now and have it be in her way. And then the other thing that I bought was a fresh new set of guest towels. I had extra towels that like my friends could use when they came over, but it wasn't like a good set aside set of towels that I could make sure I always had set aside for them. So I just went ahead and bought a brand new set and I bought them in gray because my personal bath towels, my special ones that I like to use for myself are white. Zaya's towels are pink. So I thought it would make sense to get gray for the guests. That way my housekeeping also knows where to put each towel based on the color. White towels go in my bathroom, pink towels go in Zaya's bathroom, gray towels go in the guest bathrooms. And it's just a lot easier. That way nobody has to come ask me for a towel or borrow a towel out of my bathroom or anything like that. There will just be a whole separate set. So I'm doing laundry now. I wanted to make sure that I freshly washed the towels. We don't use the towels straight from the store. That's nasty. So I wanted to make sure I washed them first before I put them in each bathroom. I made sure to use my scent beads and everything so it could be very freshly smelling for the guests. Besides the new set of towels, a couple of other little extra things that I made sure to get are a can of Lysol, cause I ran out and I'm definitely gonna be Lysoling everything down before, during, after the party. It's just gonna be a lot of people in here. We gonna keep the germs at bay, so there's that. I got some air freshener because I need to make sure that there's air freshener in every bathroom. Again, there's gonna be a lot of people in here, so. 
one we stocked up, as well as just hand soap to refill the hand soap in the two bathrooms that ran out because we got to make sure that people are able to wash their hands. And then the last two things I got from Target are these two little mini picture frames. These were only like $3 each, I want to say. And they're just like cute little frames that kind of match the vibe of my house. My plan for these are to put my Wi-Fi password on a like printed out and frame it so it's cute but so that people don't have to keep asking me what the Wi-Fi is. So I'm gonna have one for somewhere downstairs where people can easily see it and one for upstairs. So I'm just gonna like make something cute either like on Canva or just a plain Word document and print it out and frame it. So for my powder bathroom aka the half bath aka the little bathroom in the hallway obviously I want to make sure this is stocked up so I have this little thing here. I have one extra toilet paper but I like to make sure that there are three at all times just to be safe. I do already have this room spray and poopery but this is like empty so let me go ahead and replace that with one of the new ones. So we are stocked up. This is like the main main bathroom that everyone's gonna just be using obviously throughout the party and after and then this bathroom needed more hand soap as well. This bathroom is not super cute right now. I never did much to it ever since moving in but I do have big plans to like make over this bathroom. I'm not gonna be able to get it done before the party I don't think but regardless stay tuned for a full makeover of this bathroom. Okay so for up here in the guest room bathroom I'm just going to stock underneath the cabinet with extra toilet paper rolls. Two of those. I actually already had this hand soap and hand lotion little thing that someone gave me as a gift so I had it already sitting up here. I can take my little toiletry kit and just put it here I guess. Then I already had this candle in here. It's fresh cut lilacs but then I want to add this little air freshener room spray. It's from Aroma Avenue which is a small business and it smells really good. At first I was like okay this is fine like it's functional it's everything they need but it's bothering me how it's like very mismatched and not like cute looking. The reason why I got these clear containers is because I felt like it was more hygienic more reusable like if any of this liquid stuff spills I can easily wipe it out and clean it versus like a really cute wicker basket or something made of a different material just didn't seem as hygienic even though it would look cuter because I looked at some different baskets in Target but I ultimately landed on these they just don't look that cute I want to like make it look cuter how can I make it look cuter let me think about it so the new towels are out of the dryer I specifically got these towels that have the rougher texture if you will because I can't tell you how many times people have stayed over my house and they've used they've borrowed my towels out of my bathroom and I have the super soft they almost feel like blankets but people hate those they don't like the super soft towels they want their towels to have a rougher texture to it I'm still toying around with this stuff I feel like it just doesn't look cute and it looks cluttered I think what would help is if I get a cute like stylized soap dispenser instead of just having these like get a matching like silver white like actual soap dispenser and just put this soap in there and just have that there instead of this that'll help make it look nicer okay I put those like that bath towel and washcloths I know there's like a super certain like correct way that you're supposed to do this and I'm sure this is not it but I wanted to have these here because when I put them all under there for some reason don't know to look under there and they're like where's the towels do you have towels I just want to make it super obvious there's your towels there's your toiletries everything is out obvious ready to go so that I'm not having to like explain it to people or show people I will put extra towels under here I guess move out the way move out the way Anyways, I can put the third set of towels under here out of the way if they end up needing it. And then there's the extra toilet paper. I need to get something else to make that look cuter and make it like match. In the meantime, for the nightstand over here, I have a box of tissues, but this box isn't that cute. So I have this tissue box cover, which is from Amazon. It's like a black leather looking cover, which just makes it look so much cuter. This comes in multiple different colors and I will have this linked in my Amazon storefront. So if you're looking for it, check the link in the description box and then I have these drawers here this drawer I just filled up with magazines and I just always keep these magazines in there you know in case somebody needs some reading material but something I could definitely do like I said is put some snacks in here like use this second drawer as the snack drawer I can buy some little individual snacks and put it in there and maybe leave a note or just let them know that they're in there because otherwise they're not gonna know to look in there they're not even gonna see them it might be better to leave the snacks out with 
where they can see them and actually eat them. I'll decide later. Okay, and then for the set of stuff that's gonna be for the guests that are gonna be sleeping in Zaya's room and using Zaya's bathroom, for now I'm just making sure I have everything good to go, but I'm just going to put it in her linen closet, like her bathroom closet, just kind of right here out of the way for now. So that stuff will just be right there, all prepped and ready to go. So like the day before, the day of the party, I can take it out and set it out nicely in here. I just don't wanna put it in here right now because it'll just kind of be in Zaya's way. Okay, so I threw together a quick little text graphic for the Wi-Fi sign. I said, hey Raven, what's your Wi-Fi? Cause that's what everyone always says. And then I have a spot for the network and the password. I didn't put the password on there now because I don't want y'all to stealing my identity somehow. But of course I'll type the password right there and then I'm gonna print out two of them to go inside of my little frames. So I have my little signs printed out. I definitely probably could have maybe fit these on my piece of paper, but oh well, I'm gonna cut them out using my little paper cutter so I can get straight lines, of course. So here we go, super cute little Wi-Fi signs. And like I said, I made two so I can have one upstairs and one downstairs. So I have stuff here that I'm still setting up for the party. It's gonna be all set up, of course, but just for example, I'll probably put one here because this is like the main table that you see when you walk in. And then put this other one in the guest room. Like right here on the nightstand. Cute. Okay, so I ended up going back to Target and getting a couple more things to cutify this process. I got these two soap dispensers to just look cuter, you'll see. And then I got these three baskets because I did want like a cute decorative basket element. I'm still gonna use the other clear things with the toiletries, but for these three, it's gonna be for like the water bottles and the snacks. So I can put the water bottles in here like this, and then I can put a little variety of snacks. You know, hotel vibes. Y'all know I keep the snacks on deck in my pantry anyway, but this would be cute so that people don't have to feel like they have to ask or go snooping around in the pantry. They can just have it already in the room that they're gonna be sleeping in. These little baskets were only $8 at Target, so not bad. And of course, I can continue to reuse them for the same purpose or I can use them for other things around the house because they're just cute little neutral baskets that always come in handy. So there we go. So instead of just having these water bottles here, and I'll just put the Wi-Fi thing over on this table. You kind of see that more when you first walk in anyway, so it'll be more obvious so they don't have to look for it. So then for in here, I felt like this was making it look kind of cluttered. So I thought just having this by itself would be better. I can still keep this lotion and use it elsewhere, but just for the hand soap, I'm just gonna transfer this. And that way this will be reusable and refillable anyway. So I don't have to keep buying whole bottles like this. I can just get the jumbo refill and go around and refill all of my dispensers in my house. See, it's a slight difference, but I feel like it just looks so much cleaner in here now. Okay, so last few little things that were needed in here is to put this bath mat back out. For some reason it got moved. Maybe it just needed to be washed and never got put back, but making sure that is there. We have the towels, we have our little toiletries, we have our soap. I have this little thing where you can stick your toothbrush in to hold your toothbrush. Of course, making sure you have a fresh, clean hand towel toilet paper. Always make sure you have a little trash can with a bag in it in every single bathroom. And then under here, we just have a little bit of back stock, toilet paper, hand soap lotion, and one more set of towels. So that's this bathroom done and prepped and stocked. This bedroom has the full bedding, the Wi-Fi, tissues, snacks, and water. Pretty much everything you could need in here. The only outstanding thing is the fact that there's no dresser right there, but we're just gonna continue to ignore that. But let me get the last little finishing touch. So the last finishing touch is that I ordered a luggage rack. Like how they have at hotels, it's just a little fold out thing that you can put your suitcase on so that your suitcase is not just on the floor. And I got this on Amazon. Clearly there's some assembly required, so let's see. I will have this linked in my Amazon storefront as well for you guys. Okay, I got it put together. It actually wasn't hard to put together at all and it like folds up flat. I could like slide it under the bed for storage, but for now I'm gonna probably put it here like that. I could put it over here, but I am, like I said, trying to get a dresser to put that TV on. So I think this will be a good spot for it. So yeah, all I need is that dresser and this room is going to be good to go. All right, I also got another one of these soap dispensers for in here, just cause I felt like it would look so much nicer than that. You know what I mean? So I'm just gonna dump 
this into here. I definitely should have just did this in the first place and got a big jumbo bottle of soap. Next time I'll be sure to just get the big jumbo bottle of refill hand soap to refill all these, but this is fine for now. So like that, and that just looks a lot nicer. So now this bathroom is officially stocked as well. Okay, so in here for the glam room bathroom, this is the last space that I need to kind of prep, mainly clearing out all this random stuff and then just stocking it with the same stuff that I put in the upstairs guest bathroom. So I have these two random like hand towels here, which are not gonna be useful for guests. So I'm gonna take these out. I'm actually gonna switch, because this one looks a little dingy, and this one is fresh. So I'm just gonna put one hand towel here. Under here, I have those random towels I mentioned before, how I didn't really have like a nice set of matching towels for guests. And honestly, a lot of these are so super old and like they're stained and dingy and it's time to go. So I'm taking all of these out. I may keep some of them to use as like, what do you call it? Like we call it like garage towels. Like when you just need an old dingy towel for stuff you're doing in the garage or outside or with your car or with arts and crafts projects, you just need like an old towel to use. I'll probably keep some of those to use for that. And then if there are some nicer ones that I just don't need, then I can, you know, donate them. These are two Bluetooth mini record player speaker things that I had sitting on the bathroom counter. Why do I have two of these? I don't know. I also have these paper backdrops, this giant white one and this pink one, which are like in the way of the shower right now. I need to wipe off this shelf because the soap, like the black soap made it look nasty. This is one of those towels that I was saying is just so stained with makeup. So I'm definitely not gonna be giving that to my guests to bathe with. They're gonna be like, ew, what the heck is this? Even though it's technically clean. Just use them as wash rags for around the house, I guess. I'm gonna still put the shampoo and conditioner here that was there, cause you know, I don't know, somebody might wanna use it. And then I have my little toiletry thing, just like I had for the other bathroom. So I'll put that there. The new bottle of air freshener, hand soap. I didn't get a soap dispenser for this one because they only had two of those soap dispensers at Target, they didn't have like another matching one. So we're just gonna have to deal with the regular soap bottle for in here. And I have some random stuff, products here that just need to be put away. And then just like I did upstairs with the towels. Again, I know I'm probably not doing this right, but it's just meant to be extremely functional. Function over aesthetic. So this is the glam room bathroom, all stocked and ready to go. It's clean, we got all the essentials, all the refills, towels, toiletries, extra stuff in the cabinet, everything you could need. And that's it, like I said, I will be putting an air mattress in this room for people to sleep on and an air mattress upstairs in the playroom. So those will be two things that I need to set up like the day of the party, but that is pretty much it. I will have all of my Amazon finds and anything that I mentioned linked down in the description if you guys want to check it out but uh yeah wish me luck with having 12 plus people sleeping over stay tuned for the vlog